show you in a moment or two. Hurry up, get your paper and your pencil right away. We're going to learn to draw cartoons the original Frank Webb way. Hello, boys and girls, and you grown-ups, too. I'm glad to see you with me today, and I hope you have your pencils and paper ready. Now, our friend Linda Leghorn is back with us again, and I'm glad to see you're able to spend a few moments with us, Linda. Well, thank you. I just thought I would, Mr. Webb. I've been to a PGA meeting, a uh, Poultry Talkers Association, you know, and uh, uh, this is rather my way home. Well, I see. Uh... That was very nice, and did you have a good meeting? Well, uh, yes, Mr. Webb. We discussed ways of increasing egg production. Well, uh, did you come to any decision? Well, we decided to lay more eggs. Well, I can see that was the only way out. Yes, I, I guess so. You know that Rhode Island Red was there at the meeting, and she's such a gossip. Mr. Webb, I just don't like gossipy hens. I think it's such a waste of time to gossip, don't you? A and I wish you could have seen the way she looked. Molting all over the place. They say she leaves a trail of red feathers wherever she goes. Well, now, Linda, I don't want to seem uh, unappreciative, but you know you're gossiping right now. Oh, no. Am I really? Now you see how careful one has to be. Yes, and it's very easy to gossip, Linda. We all have to be careful about that. You're so right, Mr. Webb. Now, now, you just go ahead with your drawing lesson, and I'll just sit here and watch, if I may. Well, fine, Linda. But now, I think we'll meet Valerie and our guests. Oh, yes, let's do that. Our brownie friends are with us again today, Frank. Aren't they pretty? They're really quite a group, and they're very anxious to draw a cartoon or two. And uh, I know we're going to get some good lessons from them. And before we have our first drawing lesson, I want to ask you if you'd like to look into our unusual knot hole in our tree here in the forest. You'd be very surprised what you see. Let's take a look, shall we? Here's an array of colored feathered splendor, the peacock. Yes, we've all seen peacocks spread their beautiful tails like a huge fan. But this one seems to be a little shy. Now, you're ready, well, I'm ready, and let's start our first drawing lesson. We'll start by drawing a printed letter L like that. And this will be a man on a streetcar reading the newspaper. So you just follow right, uh, right along with me. So let's draw the, um, by the edge of the streetcar seat first. Same curve it right back down to, oh, right about there. Now right here, this part of the seat, curve it out just a little bit, and down here, over, and then like a horseshoe, go right up and back down to there, and back over again. Now it looks like a letter H, from the letter L to the letter H. I will draw the man, so use this part of the chair here for his back, and just go straight up, right to about there. Now. A line right over like that. We're going to draw his derby hat. And a loop over that. And then a band. And blacken in his derby hat. Like this. And an ear right here. And his eyebrow and eye. I hope by this time you're all finding that it's a lot of fun to draw cartoons. It's it's very relaxing, too. Then his nose. And uh, we'll give him a mustache like this. And his jawline right back to here. Now, just a small collar like that. And part of his waist chest line right out there on his coat. Now we'll bring his arm out. Right straight out like this with a little wrinkle there and then out. Right to about there. Then down, and back again with a little elbow wrinkle there, and back over there to his coat. Now, bring the rest of his coat right around down to the bottom of the 
seat of the chair there. And a vest line, and then back up. See, down to a point, and then back up. And his leg right out to here. This is his trouser leg with a wrinkle there. And bend his leg down. And then double that line right to there. And a cuff line. One, two, two lines. And his shoe, a wrinkle there. And a the toe of his shoe right around, and then up a little, and then back down for his heel. And put the sole on, just double the line for his sole of his shoe. And then show part of his other shoe on the other side, like that. Now we'll draw his cuff. One, two, three lines. Then the part of his hand, then his thumb. Then this finger's a way out. It's bent over holding the newspaper. Then one knuckle, two, three, like that. Then put a couple lines in there. Right at this point, let's take a quick look and see how our our guests on the show are doing. And they're they're drawing right along with me and doing fine too. So let's let's complete this man with the newspaper. Now line right up like that for part of the newspaper, and then over and back down. Then a wrinkle there in the paper. Now it has one, two, three sheets, and back down to here. Like that. And you can put the name of your hometown newspaper up here. I'll just draw a few lines like that. Maybe the Daily Sun or whatever your hometown newspaper is, the paper you like best. Then you can put a, uh, later on, you can put your own design here in the man's suit. So that, uh, that completes your drawing lesson of the man on the streetcar reading the newspaper. Well, how do you like my drawing, Linda? Well, uh, you know, I got so interested when you were drawing that, Mr. Webb. Uh, you know, every day when I take the subway home, there are always several men sitting comfortably reading their newspapers and never noticing that there are ladies standing. Well, you're kidding me. Is that right? Yes. And would you think uh, you think they'd be polite enough to, to stand up and give a lady a seat? Uh, do you think I could take that drawing with me? Why, certainly, Linda. And you remind me to give it to you before you leave. Well, thank you, Mr. Webb. I, I will. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, casually let it fall on the lap of one of the men I catch sitting down when there are ladies standing. Well, that's a very good idea, and I hope it brings results. Now I think we'd better get started on our second cartoon lesson, because I see our friends are all ready to draw. Oh, by all means, let's do. You know, Billy Beetle's with us again today, and he's going to um, give us our drawing lesson. Billy. Now, you know, Billy doesn't talk, he just squeaks, and I, uh, I know what he talks, all, uh, what he says when he talks. I understand his, his dialogue, his little squeaks. So what are you going to draw for us today, Billy? Oh, I see. He says he's going to draw a little dog howling for his supper out of the letter Q. All right, now I give Billy his pencil. There you are, Billy. And you follow Billy Beetle right along with his drawing now. And he wants you to draw a, a capital letter Q like that. And put that little line there. Billy's a fine little artist for the for the time he's been drawing, which has only been about a year now. That's it, blacking that in like Billy's doing. And up here he wants you to put a little oval, and this is going to be the little dog's nose. That's it. And a little line there, and a little line there, and then a little oval there. And then a line across there, with a little line in there, a little curve there, like Billy's drawing. Then, black and that in, that's the inside of the dog's mouth. Because the dog's very hungry, and he, he figures that if he howls, uh, his master will bring his dinner out to him. And a few locks of hair up there, dog hair. And part of his other ear on that side, just like Billy's drawing. You, you go right along with your drawing, Billy. Okay, now a little neck there, like that. 
And a little line there, and a little line there, and a curve in there. Another little curve line there. A little curve line there. And then his hind foot. And a little line in there, and sort of shade that. We just follow Billy right along with each line that he draws. Here's the, his right leg, just showing part of it on the other side. And his tail, like this, just like Billy's doing. And Billy says, put a little spot on him there. You're doing fine, Billy. And some grass around there. He's out on the ground in the backyard. Well, that's, that's done very well, Billy, and thanks a lot for coming to see us. Now let's have Valerie show one of our guest drawings. Frank, I, I've been watching Jill here, and she's really made this dog howl. Jill, may we look at your drawing, please? Yes, this is fine. That is a howling dog. Well, I hope you've enjoyed drawing with me. And now, before I sign off, I have a few drawings I'd like to show you that have come into our friendly mailbox. Now, here's a drawing by Beatrice Wheeler, and Beatrice is 10 years old. That's a cute drawing. And a drawing by Bill Reynolds, 12 years old. That's very good in real dark pencil. So that's all the time I have to show drawings now, and thanks for watching. Now wasn't that a lot of fun And you see what you can do With a little line here and a little line there And a polka dog or two Fare thee well, fare thee well Till we meet another day And again we'll learn to draw cartoons The original Frank Webb way